So you've heard the news, Donald Trump, it's pretty much clear he's going to be the nominee, right? He is leading Joe Biden in every single poll. And now the big question is who will Trump pick as his vice presidential running mate? Over the weekend at CPAC, they did a big, huge uh, poll, a straw poll, and Christy Noem is, um, is leading the pack, not by much. Also, people like Tulsi Gabbard. Well, Newsmax is conducting its own national poll, and they're asking Americans, who do you like? Who do you think Trump ought to pick as his VP? Um, and the names, you know, Tim Scott, Ben Carson, Nikki Haley, not going to be Nikki Haley. But Newsmax does want to know, and you can vote in their poll by taking out your smartphone and text the word SKIP to 39747. That's SKIP to 39747, and they're going to send you a link to their poll. Again, that is SKIP to 39747, and you will be able to take part in the big Newsmax uh, poll. Look, it's right now it's anything goes, but... I, I was hearing at NRB, I was talking to some folks, and they believe that Tulsi Gabbard could be a, a very interesting pick for President Trump. And the point being is, yes, she's pro-choice, but ultimately that issue is now being decided on the state level. So we shall see. Uh, President Trump also catching uh, flag for what he said at the Black Conservative Federation meeting over the weekend, cut five. These lights are so bright in my eyes that I can't see too many people out there, but uh, I can only see the black ones. I can't see any white ones, you see. That's how far I've come. That's how far I've come. That's a long, that's a long way, isn't it? We've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts and they sell them for $19 a piece. It's pretty amazing. So, I, look, I, I thought it was funny. And the crowd certainly thought it was funny. And Donald Trump's got a great sense of humor. He knows his crowd and they know him. So now everybody's going bonkers over this. And they're saying that, oh, Trump's a racist. No, he, no, he's not. As a matter of fact, this guy's more comfortable around minorities than any other white Republican I know. I'm just telling you, they get a sense of humor. And he's a hoot. So deal with that. Oh, here's Bob Costas. Cut 10. You come at this from a position of not wanting to see Trump get elected. You should state that at the outset. True? Yes, absolutely. He is by far the most disgraceful figure in modern presidential history. He's only become more disgraceful since 2016 and since 2020. He is a bubbling cauldron of loathsome traits. And it's only those who are actually suffering from Trump derangement syndrome, which is the way they and Fox News and all the rest of MAGA media try to brush aside all the legitimate criticisms of Trump. You have to be in the throes of some sort of toxic delusion in a toxic cult to believe that Donald Trump has ever been in any sense emotionally, psychologically, intellectually or ethically fit to be president of the United States. But his supporters are locked in on that. There is no cult okay. of Joe Biden. Even just let me finish this thought, Michael. Even if he had not run explicitly with the pledge that he would be a one term president, even if halfway through this term he had said, look, I've done my job. I have some policy successes. I'll continue to do my job. And now the Democrats can get, as I said before, some people up in the bullpen and sort through it. He had a chance to be seen as a statesman and a patriot. Now his legacy is likely to be that of a man whose hubris prevented him from seizing the moment in an appropriate way. And at best, he can squeak by Trump. That's at best. Or he could lose to Trump and subject the nation to four more years of this kind of ongoing insanity, or if he squeaks by, it's very likely that he cannot complete his second term. He'd be 86 at the end of it. You know, he's a little fella. Did you know that, Bob Costas? You know, the the mouth is cashing checks. The body can't. uh, No, seriously, the the mouth is writing what you know. But the guy is just, he's... uh, I think he's buying into his press. He's one of these guys that reads the headlines and believes everything they're writing about him. And he thinks he's all that. I met him once. Did I tell you the story, Dylan? I was um, 
It was in Beverly Hills, and I was eating at the Wolfgang Puck restaurant. Sp- I think it was Spago's. And uh, anyway, uh, I was coming out of the bathroom, and uh, he was going in. He was a little fella, and he just had that air about him. So he's not a MAGA guy, never will be. But he's your typical run-of-the-mill far leftist. And, you know, it is what it is.